Hey everybody, let's go through how to verify your ConvertKit domain so that your emails get delivered to your audience. If you missed it, I did a video last week on how to connect MailerLite to your uh, host of whatever your blog host is. I was going to say Lyrical, but you might have something different. Um, but a lot of people still had questions about ConvertKit. It's pretty similar, but I do understand that it's different enough that it's confusing if you've never really done this before and you don't understand what all this coding stuff is that's happening. So in ConvertKit, you're going to come to the back end and you're going to click on email. Over here, we're going to have your email addresses that are tied to your account and then the verified sending domains. You really should only have one, but we needed something to test because I've already connected She Knows SEO. So we're going to do auto with things to do now, which is the site that I'm building in public. So here you have two options. Now, if you have a more mainstream host, a bigger host, you can use their entry plugin system, I don't know what to call it, tool, I guess. And what it's gonna do is detect all of the things that you need and then recommend how you can set it up with your host. So once it loads, it takes a second. Let's just pretend you're with Bluehost. You're gonna log into Bluehost and then it's gonna help configure all of this for you, which is really helpful. But if you're with Lyrical, you don't have that option. However, what you do have is great support with Lyrical and they will help you. So I'll show you guys that it doesn't exist here, but you can get their help setting it up or you can do it manually and just follow my tutorial. So down here, you'll see that we have a couple of files. We have two CNAME files and one TXT file. So these are our SBF, DKIM and DMARC files. If you watched my last video, you will notice that we did something pretty similar, but we had a couple of different steps for connecting these things. So what you're gonna to need to do here is go over to your host and go to your cPanel. Now your cPanel will show up in different areas. On Bluehost, it was just like in the sidebar, um, but for Lyrical, it's on the main menu bar of Lyrical itself. And from here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is go down to domain names and manage DNS. Now, if you are with Cloudflare, I think many people will be, you need to do this through Cloudflare. You cannot do it through your host. Wherever your name servers are pointing, that's where it needs to happen. So from your domain provider, let's say it's like name silo or something. If name silo still has your name servers, that's weird because they don't host your website probably, um, but then you would do it there. Now, if they're pointed to your host, then that's fine. It usually means you don't have a CDN set up unless the host has one built in like Lyrical does. Um, then you would do it there because basically what that's doing is almost it's like forwarding your address. So we have to do it wherever our address is forwarded, not at the middle stop. So if you go into manage your DNS, you'll see all the records for this. Now I already have these set up for um, the Ottawa things to do mail system, but it's with, uh, what's it called? With MailerLite but we can do the same here for um, our setup here. So I'm not gonna keep these, but I'm gonna show you how to set them up. I did accidentally break the staging site doing the first video um, and <laughs> Lyrical was like, what were you doing? <laughs> so we'll keep this pretty simple. So what we need to do here is first, you're gonna select the type of document or file, I guess that this is. And then you just wanna copy the names that they are using. I find that that's the easiest thing to do to make sure that you do not mess things up. Technically, the name can kind of change. It's more for, um, well, it's mostly for like kind of marking what it is, but equally just follow their systems. And you're just going to copy and paste. Oops, I needed to do this first. There we go. And make sure that you are taking it exactly so that you don't mess this up. With ConvertKit, um, with uh, MailerLite, there was something we had to remove. I talked about it in that video. Um, with ConvertKit, they don't have that in there, so you don't need to remove anything. There we go. So now what I would do is click Update DNS. I'm not going to do that because I will forget and I will break the whole system again. <laughs> um, but this is going to push that through. Now, it takes about 24 hours for those to fully kick in. The fastest I've seen it work is like two hours, but like basically just do it go to sleep, deal with it tomorrow, sort of a situation. And then you're gonna come back to ConvertKit and hit validate. Now you can see it says like, this might take a while, both the validation, but also it kicking in. <laughs> so it's not gonna work because I haven't actually like pressed send on it. Um, but also because 
it has not been 24 hours, even if I did that. And if it's not working, it's just going to come back to this screen. So then wait. Now, if it's been over 24 hours, then something probably did go wrong. And you'll want to speak to your host to make sure that these were installed properly. Now, just to add a side note, the way that I broke mine is I made up a txt file um, for the sake of like one of the versions of the other video I recorded because I'm sick so I paused to cough and I was like okay I'll just start again um, and I guess I just left it there like I don't I don't remember pressing enter but I did um, and so it accidentally redirected the whole dns so be very careful that you're taking exactly what's here and you don't start freestyling like I did by accident <laughs> luckily it was on the staging area so it was fine but uh, like my main site wasn't affected, but it could have been. So just don't freestyle. Just take exactly what's here, paste it in, and then you're basically good to go. Now you can see what the files look like um, from the other system up here. They are much longer and I will be the first to admit, I don't know what half of this stuff means. So I wouldn't play around with it. However, if you use some sort of external verification system to double check it and it doesn't look like it worked, what you can then do with Lyrical, and to my knowledge, other systems are the same, um, is under email, you'll see DMARC wizard and domain keys. And you would just go in and connect these. So you can see like I did it with the staging site and that's partially how I broke things too. Um, S1 is just what they call it for some reason. You click add signature, done. That's literally all that happens with that one. And then with the DMARC wizard, You'd select it, uh, you don't choose anything there, and you don't choose anything there, and then you hit add DMARC, and then it just adds it, and then you're done. That's it. However, um, it does basically look like this. So I suspect with ConvertKit that it's totally fine just to like copy and paste it over. Um, that's what I did. <clears throat> Pardon me, still a bit sick. Um, and yeah, I didn't have to adjust anything, and then Lyrical verified it, and it was all good. So these are the systems to set it up. Um, if you are struggling and you have a good host, so that's basically like um, anyone that's a more medium to luxury host. So anyone with decent support, they will help you do this. Just provide them with these pieces of information or you can outsource it. Now, I recommended in the last video, my friend Beth, who has a power hour where she'll help you do this. And she is especially good with ConvertKit. So definitely check her out if you need help with this. And please, 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 for the love of God, do this as soon as possible possible. The problem is if you don't do this, basically Google and Yahoo are like, hey, we're just not going to accept your emails. We're going to send it straight to spam. Now, someone also asked me um, if it's okay if you have like an at gmail.com email. Nope, get that out of here. First of all, it's not very professional. Like if I saw, I don't know, I'm trying, I was going to say Google, but that would make sense if they had a Gmail email. But like if my bank emailed me from a Gmail email, I'd be like, what is happening? This is spam. And it's kind of the same idea. Real businesses have a verified email and a good host will provide an email with like their service or they'll help you set one up. Now, Lyrical provides them for free. So like, I don't have to go and pay anywhere else to get it. And that's super easy for me. Um, so I do recommend finding some setup, setup like that where you also don't have to pay a separate service if possible to deal with your emails. It's not terrible too, but like, at the beginning, especially when you're on a budget, don't pay extra for extra little things. Just find somewhere that bundles it all in. Um, so you're going to want to get off that anyway, and you're going to want to do this. Now, with all these systems, like if you do the C name here, and then if you do find that like the DMARC and the um, domain key haven't set themselves up fully after 24 hours, and you have to do that, that takes another 24 hours. So that's why we want to do this as soon as possible because all of these changes start on February 1st and you want this done by then. You want this over and sorted and set so that you don't have to think about it. Um, if you wait too long, you are just making it harder on yourself down the line when you're sending emails. And if you've been marked by spam for someone's email account, it's very hard to get out of there unless that person changes it manually. So you do really risk hindering your newsletter. And especially right now where SEO is kind of all over the place a bit, it's not terrible, but it's definitely harder than it has been. Um, we're seeing everyone flock to Facebook ads and Pinterest and things like that. Newsletters are the thing everyone says to have. And there's a reason. They are very powerful and they are wonderful. But if your newsletter can't get to your people, that's a problem. 
So I highly recommend doing this. Technically, some people say it's like only if you send 5,000 emails at a, at a month or a day. I don't remember what the amount is. I kind of don't care about that. I think everyone should do it. Number one, it's free. And number two, do you track how many emails you send <laughs> in a day, in a month, in whatever? Probably not. It is kind of hard to keep track of all of that between automations and what you're sending. So I really recommend doing this as soon as possible because you really do risk messing up your deliverability. And are you going to remember when you hit 5K? Like just do it immediately. I think this is a really good step to just get through, get sorted. So that's been my tutorial and my little rant. I hope this helped you and you feel confident now with connecting ConvertKit to your host of whoever it is, um, your cPanel, most cPanel things look exactly the same. They're just maybe a slightly different color icon or something, but the organization of them is the same setup. Like when I was with Bluehost, it looked exactly the same. Um, so it should be pretty easy to find these spots. If you can't, do go to your support, either their documentation or message them. Hopefully, if your host was on top of this, they also would have sent you documentation about how to do this. Um, mine did, so that was super helpful. If not, contact them. And if they still don't get back to you, switch hosts, because that sounds like a really bad host. So maybe get out of there. Okay, if you need help with MailerLite, please refer to my other video. Um, I will link that in the description for you. And otherwise, for any other service provider, either speak to your host and the provider or speak to my friend Beth, who can really help you out.